welcome back for another one. Welcome back to another one. This is another Christmas book tag and it's the Winter Essential book tag. This was created by Taylor Reads. Again, we'll leave everything linked down below along with the questions. So if you would like to take part, please do so and tag me so that I know that you've done this so I can watch your videos, okay? Because I love these videos. Hence the reason why I've got five tags in one month. After not doing them all year, really. I've done very few. I'm gonna quickly go through these. First one is Crackling Fire. Who was your favourite cold character that warmed up towards the end? Now this is a weird one because he hasn't warmed up near the end of the books but I've warmed to him so I'm gonna take this as this, okay? So a character that I'm probably not supposed to like that was cold that I didn't like to start with but I do now is Jax from Once Upon a Broken Heart. Should I like him? No. I tried not to. I tried to root for the other guy. But he won me over. My heart is warmed and now I am all for Jax. Snowflake, what is a book that was full of unique characters? Plenty of books that I have come across in the indie slash self-pub world. We've got Maroja. There's some unique, different magical creatures in Maroda by Ellen McCray. Not really unique characters in the grand scheme of things, but there's dragons in this, and they're unique characters. They're in quite a few fantasy books, but they're unique characters. Um, but also, once again, I cannot go video recently without mentioning this book, Legends of Lattes. It has a ratkin, which is an actual animal that's created for this world, and it has an orc and a succubus. And there's not actual people, it's just animals of different kinds in this. Well, there's dwarves and elves, but there's no, like, humans. Is there? I'm just trying to think. No, there's, there's, there's always some kind of creature. Now that I've said that, I'm really questioning myself. But yeah, it's full of unique cre creatures and beings and fun fun characters. And once again, go read it. Uh, question number three, Gingerbread Family. Which fictional family would you want to be a part of? I don't know. <laughs> this one is very hard for me to pick. So if we're talking about actual families, I'd probably say the Carols from Christmas Carol. This family are just adorable. So happy, all the time, full of joy, full of positive energy, full of positive vibes. I'd love to be a part of this family. If you're talking found families, Frost Heart. I would love to be a part of the Ash and Tobu family. Yes, Tobu's grumpy, but he clearly loves Ash a whole heckin' ton. So, Question number four, Blizzard, what is a book that had you confused the whole time? There's a couple, there is a couple for this this year. Um, I'm going to say Gideon because it's the most recent one that I've literally just been like, what the fuck? Gideon the Ninth. I had no idea what was going on until right at the end. And then mind blown is what I was. That's it really. Gift giving, what is the last book that was gifted to you? So, I was gifted a lot of books for my birthday. My birthday is in October. I'll leave the video linked up here and down down below, around the video somewhere. Um, I was gifted a lot of books and once again, thank you so much. We've, we've had, um, it ends with us, the fine print, terms and conditions, red, white and roll blue, the mysterious society, I'm just having Maleficent 7, learn my lesson, so many. So many, so many books I was gifted in the month of my birthday. I was given, given volume two and three, Blue Exorcist, um, Nick and Charlie, so many. I will leave my full um, video linked around if you would like to go and see what I got for my birthday, which is my most recent gifted items. Snowball, what is the biggest book you've ever read? And I can, I can now say that I have read Priory. It was a false laugh for me, but um, yeah, this is the biggest book I've read. Um, and for a while, this is probably the biggest book I will read. <laughs> I know I'm used to big books, um, you know, like sort of five, six, seven hundred pages, but this was like nine hundred pages. And Jesus Christ, I had a bicycle, and it was it was a lot. Wrapping paper. What is your most beat up book? So I don't have beat up books. The ones I could say that are most beat up because they were second hand and we've got a few tears on them and um, which I'm not really bothered about because they're hard to find it's some of the Percy Jackson books that were gifted to me by Erin she found them in charity shops so she found them second hand and she's gifted them to me when she moved back to Australia 
Um, so those are probably the most beaten up. I take care of my books the best I possibly can. So yeah, there's spine breakages. Um, like I said, a, f a few of the tops and bottoms of the dust jackets are a little bit frayed and like, torn a little bit. But other than that, I don't really have beaten up books. So Christmas lights, what is the book that you own that has so many, that has many colours on the cover? Speaking of some lovely manga that I was gifted, beautiful. Look how stunning and colourful these covers are front and back. This is given. It is um, BL manga. Boy meets boy. Just, just so good. So good. I've only read volume one so far and Tori gifted me volume two and three that I really need to get to soon. But yes, honestly, they are beautiful. So colourful, so great, so queer. It's amazing. Ice skating, what is a book that had, <laughs> had a plot that was all over the place. Again, I could have chosen Gideon for this, but Gideon kind of had a thread to it. It was just confusing. This, for me, would be Name of All Things. This is book two in the, disc in the Chorus of Dragons series. Out of all the books that I've read so far from this series, that was the one that made me confused the most and got the lowest for it in. They were all five stars, but that was a four, so it wasn't massively different, but that one was the one that confused me the most. Christmas tree, who is your favourite character of all time? Yes, you can only choose one. So if you're gonna make me choose, if you're gonna make me choose, um, it has to be Thimble. He has the least amount of lines <laughs> of any character I've ever read that I've really loved, but he captured my heart as soon as he came on the page. Maybe it was because of Travis Baldry's voicing of Ra the Ratkin, or maybe it was because he's just a cute little Ratkin that likes to bake and loves coffee. I don't know. Either way, he is my best friend. And I want a thimble to just be my friend forever, is all I'm saying. My favourite character. The Star, what's a book you look forward to rereading each year? Again, I'm going to repeat myself. It's Frost Heart. Got this last year, reread it last year, reread it for Pawthorn, reread it for Gavin's Frost Heart along. Yeah, it's 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 just it's just it's just a book that is just a great read. Snowball fight, tag five people. I'm gonna tag more than five people. I'm tagging all my friends. So all my friends that make videos, basically, <laughs> you are all tagged. You got Liv, Becca, Jem, Tori, Smash, Meg, Chloe, Chelsea from Not So Secret Bookaholic. I tag you, Andy from Zebra Zebra Reads. I think you. Need to do this tag as well. Katie from Sitting, Sitting Katie, if you would like to do this tag, please do. I would appreciate you all taking part if possible. I know that I'm doing a lot of tags and you can't all do the tags that I tag you in, but you know, the offer's there. But anyone that watches this and wants to tag themselves and do it, feel free to do so. And like I said, in all my other tag videos, please tag me and let me know you've done it so I can watch your videos. I'm, I love watching these kinds of videos. As you can tell, seeing as I've done quite a few of them. As always, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't have anything much to say and you just want me to let me know that you're here, then you can leave a black heart. There's a Google form down below where you can recommend books that you would like to see me read in 2023. So feel free to fill out that form with the book that you'd like me to read. I'll be doing an individual review on any books that are written in the Google form. Until next time, enjoy! Cold enough to make you shiver